He broke her windows out in front of her children. He beat her in front of her children. How did he get out that night? Who protected Nicole? She was, she, uh, her words was, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of what he's going to do to me. She has five boys that we have to raise without their mom. This is the story of 29-year-old Nicole Bullock, a mother of five children whose life was tragically cut short in a chilling crime that shook the community to its core. Nicole was in an abusive relationship with the father of her two-year-old son, 33-year-old Rodney Crawford. She was afraid of him and would leave him then take two protective orders out against him. Tragically, these protective orders were not enough to save her life, and she would sadly be killed by him in her hotel room. Nicole tried to get help to keep her and her kid safe, so why wasn't she protected? Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Durham, North Carolina. Nicole, at 29 years old, was a mother to five boys aged 2 to 12 years old. She would do anything for her boys. Loved ones described her as having a spirit that radiated kindness and joy and was just a fun person to be around. Nicole had a tumultuous relationship with the father of her two-year-old son, 33-year-old Rodney Crawford. Nicole's bond with Rodney started with a shared love for their two-year-old son Elijah. At first, their relationship seemed like a story of love, but as time unfolded, it revealed a much darker side. Behind closed doors, a sinister undercurrent of violence brewed, tearing apart the facade of their relationship. Rodney started to become abusive towards Nicole. One particular incident in May 2021 had occurred in the presence of one of her children. As a result of the abuse, Nicole took out a protective order against Rodney in July of 2021. She filed for a second protective order in April of 2022, after that one expired. Nicole's own handwritten accounts, submitted as part of her plea for a domestic violence protection order, revealed a horrifying pattern of abuse. She had described brutal beatings, a fractured eye, and an attack while she was pregnant, causing excruciating pain every time the light hit her eye. In other documents, she described another terrifying incident where he followed her home, grabbed her by her hair, and dragged her forcefully. He didn't stop there, he head-butted and punched her, and shockingly, even cut off her hair with scissors. In another instance, she expressed her deep fear about what he might do next, indicating how unpredictable and dangerous he had become. According to Nicole Bullock's sister, Lakisha Polite, Nicole had taken legal steps to keep Rodney away from her and her children, seeking protection from his ongoing violent behavior. The protective order meant to keep Rodney away from her and her children was violated when he smashed both the front and back windows of Bullock's home. He was put under house arrest and would only receive probation for the protective order violation. Things would take a devastating turn on Sunday morning March 5, 2023. Shortly after 8 a.m., Durham police received a call about a woman who suffered a heart attack on residence in Boulevard near Apex Highway. The caller was Rodney Crawford, Nicole's baby father who she had a protective order against. Officers arrived to find Nicole's lifeless body, lying on a bed, her vibrant spirit extinguished. What appeared to be a medical emergency soon transformed into a grim crime scene. Rodney, the very person who had called 911, recounted a chilling narrative. According to him, Nicole had called him to the hotel, which swiftly escalated into a heated argument over a cell phone. The situation spiraled out of control into a violent struggle, ultimately resulting in Nicole's tragic death. An initial investigation led to the arrest of Rodney Crawford, and he was charged with Nicole's murder. Five siblings, ranging from 2 to 13, are now without a mother. This is a photograph of that family. This is Nicole Bullock here, the woman killed Sunday in Durham. Someone needs to be Nicole's voice, and I'm her oldest sister. Lakeisha Polite's little sister, Nicole Bullock, was murdered in a Durham hotel room Sunday. Court records show the man charged in her death, Rodney Crawford, had a history of abusing her. I feel like the this, this system failed her. He wasn't protected at all. Crawford was convicted over the summer of assaulting Bullock while her child was with her. Yet he got no prison time, only probation. That's the reason Polite says her sister is not alive today. After seeing our story, she reached out wanting to shine a light on the dangers of domestic violence. Who protected Nicole? She was, she, uh, her words was, I'm afraid. 
I'm afraid of what he's going to do to me. She has five boys that we have to raise without their mom. At the time of her murder, Bullock had an active restraining order against Crawford. Corey Frost with Legal Aid is the attorney who helped her get that. My hope is that, um, you know, her, her death is a reminder or wake up call to folks in the community. He says judges have a lot of discretion to provide resources to domestic violence survivors. He wants them to use that more often. What I see in my practice across the state, um, a reluctance on the part of judges to take full advantage of, of the relief that they are permitted to grant under the law. Bullock is remembered by her sister as a hardworking single mom whose kids ages 2 to 13 were her world. Now her focus is on raising them and getting justice. Justice for Nicole, justice for her kids, uh, life in prison. Crawford was on probation at the time of his arrest, after being convicted last year on charges of assault by strangulation, assault inflicting serious bodily injury, and breaking and entering with intent to terrorize or injure. Rodney Crawford was a man with a history of violence who should have been in prison for the suffering he had inflicted on Nicole, but instead, he was never held accountable for his actions, and now Nicole is dead. In the end, the story of Nicole Bullock was not just a tale of a life tragically cut short, but also a sad reminder of the horrors of domestic violence. Her memory lives on as a call to action, urging society to protect those who live in fear and to ensure that the system never fails another Nicole again. The fact that this particular person encountered multiple restraining orders in their situation, unfortunately, is uh, something that happens more often than not. Nisha Williams is the legal director for the North Carolina Coalition Against Domestic Violence. Safety planning is the first thing she recommends. Simple as I'm going to text my sister, can you go order us pizza tonight? And that might be the special signal that we've established to call for help. She also said their website is a list of every domestic violence crisis center across the state. Those centers can help people file orders of protection as well. You young ladies have to please please seek help. And not only is it free to file this order of protection, but if you do it with a local domestic violence service provider, they can connect you with a legal aid attorney again for free. We also did some digging on Crawford's background. He did have an aggravated assault charge from New Jersey back in 2015. He is set to face that murder charge here at the Durham County Courthouse next week. Nicole's family and friends came together for a balloon release to honor her life. People arrived at the park with balloons and t-shirts. This crowd showed up for 29-year-old Nicole Bullock, who was described as a hard-working single mother of five. It actually means a lot to see how much Nicole was loved, but if you honestly knew Nicole to know Nicole, it's not a shock. Nicole took all of the steps to protect herself. This is an issue that she had been experiencing since 2021. She didn't deserve to die the way she did. That was, it's tragic. Um, I feel like the system just failed her. They failed her boys. They didn't protect her, nor I feel like they didn't protect the boys either, because now they have to grow up without a mom. While at the balloon release, we found out Bullock also grew up without her mother. When Nicole was two years old, um, we lost our mom. Our mom was murdered. She was too. It's like history repeat, repeated it itself. Family and friends are coming together. They are rallying around the sons Bullock leaves behind and telling those in violent relationships to get help. To all the women out there that's going through the things that Nicole's going through, if they can hear me now, I don't want no, no family should go through what we're going through. You got to get out. You got to do something. The remembered Nicole is just a pure, genuine, fun person who was a great mother to her five boys. Nicole's loved ones feel like the system failed her and her children. They feel like she took all of the necessary steps to protect herself, and now her five children have to grow up without their mother. What happened to Nicole was beyond tragic. She tried everything to get away from her baby's father's abuse. She went to the courts for help, and instead of putting Rodney away, they gave him probation and put him back out on the street, putting Nicole's life in danger. 
We only have Rodney's version of events of how he ended up at the hotel with Nicole and how her life was taken. But what is known is that she was afraid of him and what he would do to her and wanted to be protected from him and now she is dead. She should have been protected. She should be here. My condolences to her friends and family. May you continue to heal and one day find peace. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.